Hello my friend, today I will show you something very very interesting. What's that? When I hit on this, notice that I am in Visual Studio Code. How to connect Visual Studio Code to Godot Engine, but that's not all. I will show you how to achieve something like that. Ctrl A, Ctrl Shift plus I, and now I will type something like that. Add um, types to everything. So my pro program is faster, okay? Submit. Because, I'm not sure if you know that, but if you specify types everywhere in your program, you will have your program run faster because Godot is written this way, okay? So specifying types is very good idea. Also, the suggestions are gonna be better, but doing it manually sometimes is, you know, taking time and you don't like it, or maybe you have lots of code that needs to be, you know, fixed, why not? Now I just hit this and everything works fine. So how to achieve all of that thing is gonna be shown in this lecture. So the first thing we need to do is connect Godot with Visual Studio Code. In order to do it, we hit Editor, Editor Settings, and type your external, so we don't need to look very far, and in Text Editor tab, hit external, and here, firstly, click on, and then you need to type here executable path. And this part is pretty hard normally, but I will show you a very cool trick. Alt plus space, will show something what is called Flow Launcher, highly recommended program. When you install it and you hit add plus space, okay, again, you can do something like that. Hey, I need to find the path to Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is this program. Now I will hit the right arrow key and I will open target folder. Okay, so this is the place, isn't it? Yeah, so I need to just copy this, open this, hit this, and I am inside code X. Wasn't it cool? <laughs> Let's close it now. And now, when you hit this, we are connected to Visual Studio Code. But as you can see, we do not have any hints. I'm gonna change uh, the profile to the one that I have for Godot, okay? You don't need to do it if you don't want, but I like to have different profiles for different spaces. And now, when I go here, I need to install Godot tools, okay? So when you install Godot tools, okay, and also I highly, highly, highly recommend Codium, right? Built in free, free auto completion, okay? But that's not all. We need to now also open the folder where it, our project is, okay? So in order to find it, you go here and then you do right click, open file in manager, and then you just copy the path, right? Then you go here, back, paste and now you open this right it's very important that you are in here select the folder and you're gonna open uh, okay i got it with the default profile right so i need to change it back to godot and now as you can see we are being asked where the godot executable is so i need to select godot executable and this is the place where you have your godot installation right so in my case it is in this place, right? I just open it. And as you can see, we need to reload everything. Okay, let's zoom a bit and let's go here. As you can see, now we have entire project here, but it's also connected to this. So now, as you can see, I can open everything here. And it's not like this only works here. So for example, I want, I have somewhere, uh, some, 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 kill zone. Oh, here is signal. As you can see, double click and we are in, the place where the signal is. You might be wondering, do you have documentation here? Yes, F1 and when you type god.classes, as you can see when I hit enter, it's not only that you can look for your classes documentation, but let's say I want to find something about character bot, as you can see now I can, uh, you know, read about it. And the good thing is that you can see which scripts in my game is inheriting it, right? So you can, you know, read about it, all the functions, blah, 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 blah. So documentation is built in. You don't need to jump between uh, Godot editor and this place. So pretty cool, isn't it? And of course, if you want to use different language, like for example, C sharp, right? So type Godot C sharp and then you can use it here, right? That's the only lesson. Thank you very much.